All right, what's going on everybody? Thank y'all so much for being here. Welcome to the video, welcome back to the channel. Special welcome if you're new. Today we are gonna be listening to Gray by Moses Sumney. Now I've heard a track or two by Moses, um, but I am not super familiar with him. That is to say I'm not super familiar with his music. I've never heard an album of his. And uh, we're starting off strong because this one is a two disc project. It's 20 songs, an hour and five minutes. And it was specially requested by the best pizza connoisseur, longtime supporter of the channel, and just so happens to be my boyfriend in the chat. So uh, he's actually my sugar daddy, but we don't talk about it. Um, he specially requested this one, and I, I really, really appreciate the support for the channel. And as always, it's always fun to be <laughs> it's always fun to be put onto some new music. So other people might be hopping into the chat. They might not be. But the fact of the matter is we are here and we're going to listen to some goddamn fire ass music. So we're going to dive headfirst into it. If you're watching this after the fact on YouTube, you should definitely be following me on Twitch or subscribed to the boss tier in the Patreon so that you get to watch these videos early. Or if you're on Twitch, you watch it as I record them. Um, because YouTube keeps, you know, copy, copywriting the videos, taking the revenue, or outright blocking them. So if you don't want to deal with the wait, the, the wait, uh, you know, until I drop the videos on YouTube and you don't want to deal with ads running on YouTube, because I don't make money off those ads, YouTube does, um, then, you know, follow on Twitch or support the channel on Patreon. I'd really appreciate it. And with that said, we're just going to dive right into it. So track one is Insula. Let's get it. Let's have these lyrics pulled up too. Isolation comes from Isola, which means island. Isolation comes from Isola, which means island. Okay. So already touching on some like loneliness and isolation themes. Okay. Fantastic strings. When my mind's clouded and filled with doubt, that's when I feel the most alive. Masochistic kisses are how I thrive. That's some crazy imagery there. And that's on trauma. <laughs> There's a really cool groove to this one. Of my 
cuts me, cuts me, cuts me, cut me, cut me, cut me. There's a really cool jazzy feeling to this almost. Like they're jamming or improvising on the spot. No vacancies, no vacations. Sure I could do better than this, but I don't, I won't, I don't. Might not be healthy for me, but I seemingly need what cuts me. Yikes. That's a relatable feeling though, wanting something that actually comes to hurt you in the end. I'm chasing the unhealthy love. Crazy. This is what my relationship with McDonald's is like. I know that shit's gonna kill me, but that shit hits the spot, man. <laughs> In the meantime, we'll get it straight. I hope our friendship can. I can imagine pizza. I'm drooling as I think about it. Man, this track feels like a hug so far. Yeah, Flaherty, you know, life happens sometimes. My Amazon package literally showed up at like 7.33. <laughs> That's relatable. Smooth ass track, wow. You don't want that. The way these strings are just rising in. I'm loving how relatable and honest these lyrics are. Really touching on things that just about everybody goes through. But really beautifully and, you know, soulfully. Just gorgeous, gorgeous vocals. Brilliant production. So relaxing, so smooth. <clears throat> On 
the long hike through Blue Ridge Mountains I can feel the yeah, pizza. overtake my skin Absolutely it does The realization that nothing matters as much as we think it does. The heart makes this feel like I'm dreaming, but the guitars are like grounding it. They're so gritty and heavy. He's got them vocals, man. Take dominion over all that wants to be is, is the Wow, this is such a trip, dude. God damn. They did a great job of incorporating some of the dreamier elements from the past songs into this heavier, heavier track. I think some of the lyrics are wrong there. I think that's Dear Son. I think they got it right the first time and then they messed it up the last time, but that's a crazy song. I think I was muted. I was trying to find out where exactly this two started. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. I fuck with those vocal arrangements. That's really cool. arrangements there. That lyric, the carpenter beat dies when he finally leaves this thing is so cool too. can't imagine like this 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 high must be so so cool all these vocal arrangements it already sounds good the transition into the the next track was nice so seamless we are constructing a whole new office of boxes to protect the space inside which you can exist. Yo, what he's saying right now is crazy. Very concerned about giving names, giving names. That's so true. Dissatisfaction. Seems like the natural byproduct of identification. I truly believe that people who define you control you. Dissatisfaction seems like the natural byproduct of identification. The thing that with especially black women and men is to think about who gave them their definitions and would write those definitions for themselves. Wow. Damn, we have no place that we can claim without contention. Constructing a whole new edifice of boxes to put people in, to protect a space inside which you can exist. Very concerned about giving names. Dissatisfaction seems like the natural byproduct of identification. The people who define you control you. The most significant thing that any person can do, especially black women and men, is to think about who gave them their definitions and rewrite those definitions for themselves. That's some powerful shit, dude. That is so, exactly, it's so poignant and relevant to everything that's going on right now. That is great. It, that was great. It was worth pausing it and reading through it again. Like that's on the nose, just like, and so succinct too. vocals sound so nice here. Yeah. 
His voice literally sounds like, like a saxophone. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving these pianos on my right ear. Insane. Absolutely hypnotized by those outro vocals, dude. Crazy track. That might be my favorite. This almost feels like descending further into the rabbit hole, you know? Like we're falling. Like wind whooshing past our ears, you know? Even the piano, the descending melodies, really is reminiscent of falling. He had that masculine thing down. <laughs> Shh. 
shoulders and back straight. Never slumping. Never round. What a great time to redeem posture check, Flaherty. God damn. Never slumping. Never round. She had that masculine thing down. Shoulders and back straight. Never slumping. Never round. She had that masculine thing down. Shoulders back straight. Never slumping. Never round. Am I crazy? Am I off base in, in thinking that there are uh, times during some of these songs where it seems like they're talking about uh, sexuality and gender identity. Not just, you know, earlier we were talking, about, it felt like he was talking a lot about mental health, uh, masochism, you know, getting, getting put into the friend zone and, and sometimes wanting, you know, someone that you can't have. And I thought that that was pretty reminiscent of a situation where, um, you know, someone who is gay has that best friend that they kind of have a crush on, but their friend's straight. That's got to be a super frustrating situation. And that kind of is what I got from that last track. And then here, th there was that other song too, where he said, um, you want to fit right in, turn up the masculine. There's also here, he had the masculine thing down, never slumping, never round. And then right there in parentheses, it says straight. So it's like, is that some like, um, What's it called? Like projecting or pro posturing? I, I forget the word, but it's like, you know, kind of while while the person is in the closet, um, you know, practicing kind of being more masculine. And uh, even here, you know, he had that masculine thing down. He had it down. She had it down. And then she, he had the masculine feminine thing down. So it's like, you know, uh, I mean, I'm getting like gender spectrum sort of, you know, uh, gender gender lines kind of getting blurred and yeah this you know I don't know I might be off base but that's it seems a little a little you know obvious to me like it, it feels it feels kind of tough to ignore so if I'm off base maybe maybe I'm not I, I don't think I am this album's about trapping yeah I'm what kind of trapping <laughs> I'm down for both. What are we getting into? I'm right. <laughs> I'm politically right, as incorrect. What do you as some color? It bring out your eyes. You say you have never bothered Cause you'd be telling lies Why don't you try some earth tones Since you claim you wanna die The color of compost 
might make you feel revived. Well, I Earth tones are fire, though. On you. Go and show yourself. There's nothing to be scared of. The harmonies are so gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Very, very difficult. You've got to have lungs the size of uh, right to be multiple. I insist upon my right fucking to be building. I don't know. Even more really so big I lungs. <laughs> the recognition of my multiplicity. All things encompass you. Recognize my inherent multiplicity. Yeah. What I no longer do is take pains to explain it or defend it. There you go. That is an exhausting, mm -hmm. repetitive, repetitive, and draining, draining project. And you don't owe it to anybody to explain or defend one's multiplicity. So I've reached a point where I am aware of my inherent multiplicity. And Anyone wishing to meaningfully engage with me or my work must be too. Fuck yeah. Must be too. Talk that shit, man. I can also, 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 and, and, and. There's some banger interludes, man, on this album. <laughs> it's not really a song. You're not going to play that for the homies. <laughs> Give me the ox. <laughs> when I was a little boy, I'd scream at vague misty night. Yet breathe out <laughs> it's not what I said, Blair. Come on. I'd become one with what I was scared of. I fell in love with it. It started raining. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm gonna mute the mic so you can't hear the rain in the background. I gotta pause it to say, this right here is just so extremely beautiful. I screamed at vague misty nights, yet I'd breathe out smoke with no fire. 
It's just participating in what you're raging against. You know what I mean? And becoming one of what I was scared of. I fell in love with the in-between coloring in the margins, yet the romance of the undefined was a threatening lie in their eyes. Man, yeah, just... <clears throat> If we're, if we're sticking to one of, I'm assuming, the many themes of this album, um, this screams internalized homophobia to me. Like, as a little boy, discovering some feelings that kind of make you scared, and you know that that's not allowed, or, um, you know, it's, it's, it's wrong to be that way, as, as most people around you are probably telling you, at least when I was a kid, that's still very, very prevalent what, uh, what it was like. Every, it was just a taboo to even be gay. It's more acceptable now, we're still working towards it, but screaming at vague misty nights, breathe out smoke with no fire, and becoming what he was scared of just screams of internalizing all that homophobia and learning to just stay within the margins, but there's romance in the undefined. Margins is so brilliant here. Coloring in the margins because there's romance in the undefined. What's the undefined? Marginalized groups. So I just, this is incredible to me. Really, really poetic. I'm not at peace with dying alone. Internalizing homophobia because you're taking the homophobia people show towards you and you're keeping it to yourself. So it's like uh, when Basically, when, when gay people hate that they're gay because of how other people treat them because of it, and you know, that's internalizing homophobia. Really simply put. But I am not at all. I live. No, I am planted on the shore, no end. The <laughs> sudden change. I'm loving the lyricism on this project. I don't think so, Blair. <laughs> I'm sure I wasn't. Fuck yeah, listen to these guitars, dude. Great key progressions. Keyboard progressions. What an incredible talent, dude.
<laughs> good gaydar. These are gay notes. Get sick of sick of fun telling you the truth lies like no moon is high. I'm pretty sure this is the last track of disc one. Hollow as a hallway. Yep. The office fits right through me. If I split my body into two men, which you then love me better? I don't puss myself, so you weather this sea. Polly. That last track did feel like an outro, yeah. Very grand outro. I like how chill this is, though. Very warm with those acoustic vibes. I didn't realize I wrote this song. <laughs> such a sad lyric but there's some hope there One is sensational. Just awesome vibes all over the place. Brilliant lyrics and songwriting. Super interesting production. In the summer of I wonder if the vibes will change with with uh, disc two. Whiter than a health food store is so funny. Have you ever heard anyone say, my dogs used to bark like crazy, but in a more beautiful way? <laughs> Just realized bro's ass on the album cover? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's also a free booty pic that comes with this album, so. That, I'll take that into consideration during the review portion.
found two dogs on the hot concrete of the back porch. I was worried this is where this song was heading. the saddest song on the album so far. Bro, the eyes bulging lyric, man, you got You can't do this to me. I literally have two dogs. Have you ever at least loved a pet? God damn. You said there was a tonal shift as he was talking about his two dead dogs? You wanna strip away. <laughs> Alright, we're talking about stripping now. We're good. But you'll bleed And I'll For a lukewarm embrace You'll serrate your face With glee Don't waste your candy Choveu aqui alguns minutos atrás. What's the use of confessing the truth to an executioner in the booth about the dueling forces in you? Now you barely remember your youth. You used to embrace theory and help. Visitations from spirit realms. Gifted to see between astral planes. Now you plead to be plain. A bystander. Project is heavy, dude. I love the use of the heart. Oh, this is so cinematic right now. It's just so beautiful. 
Yeah, this reminds me of Without You by Usher. is gray. Yeah, what a lyric, dude. You can't say telling the truth is always the right thing to do because what is right is so ambiguous. That's so crazy. Crazy, crazy way to end that song. down again it won't get in song about loneliness, dude. I've heard toothaches are some of the worst aches you could have. I've never really dealt with that, but I'll consider myself lucky. I don't ever want to deal with that. I'm telling you, the lyrics on this album are no joke, man. 
Is it laced within my DNA to be braced in endless January? Have I become the cavity I feared? Fuck. Wow. Insane. Ask me in 20 years. <laughs> Finding it hard to differentiate All my proclivities of society are innate Nature versus nurture, well, but the much more poetic When it comes to truth And the truth is a warrant the same thing that you About my fate is the only thing that makes me stay. It keeps me alive. Real as shit. It keeps me Childlike curiosity about my fate is the only thing that makes me stay. Exactly. Exactly. It's not like I love being here. I just want to know what happens later. <laughs> Sucker for codependency, but I'm taken by the possibility. Uh, yo, being human s fucking sucks sometimes, but it's so true what he's saying. I've never been a sucker for codependency, but I'm taken by the possibility. It keeps me alive. The possibility of me getting something that I don't even think I'm all that crazy about is still enough to keep me curious enough to, to stick around. And see whether or not I, I, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Doesn't even know if he really wants it, but finding out whether he wants it or not someday, possibly finding out whether he wants it or not someday, is uh, is enough to stick around. It's like ah, the the uncertainty of everything. Yeah, it's very bare bones. Just him and the guitar, really. But I love it, and it's so relatable. It's like the whole album is just human experience. I think we all feel like that, Blair. Fantastic. of life exactly it's what makes life so dreadful and so hopeful maybe it'll all go to shit but maybe it'll all work out the only way to know is to stick around and find out <laughs> oh that sucks <laughs> Or 
gorgeous little blocks in the background too. breakup feeling where you're like collecting yourself and, and assessing your life choices and you're gathering your uh, you're picking up the broken pieces and sort of humiliated and ashamed and yet really looking for something to be hopeful about and, and basically that's what he's doing he's counting his blessings in the song god that feeling is so it's like a gigantic fucking pit in your stomach man you left is the memory of the person god damn that's so heavy in the way he's singing. That's why I said earlier, his delivery is so real. speech impediment is it? Is it a stutter? Or a lisp? If it's a stutter, a lot of people don't stutter when they sing. Because they already know exactly what they're going to say. And how they're going to say it. And so I come to isolation. Etymologically, isolation comes from isola, which means island. Isolation. Isolation, which literally means to be islanded. And somebody mentioned this to me the other day, actually my Cape Verdean hairdresser, because I asked her, how do you say this word in Portuguese? And she said, isolada, like an island, like your, your, your. Oh, island. nice Moses reference. <clears throat> and I thought that's exactly what I've been my whole life. I've been islanded. It's a great word means exactly what it means. <laughs> it's so predictable to find the parable from every tete -te. But when you see the end in every beginning, lessons are you get. You're going nowhere with me 
met you in the wrestling pit. You came when I needed it. Ah, a body on top of me to teach me. Stayed up past the witching hour. You showed me a secret power. I wish that my Yeah, this is like hypnotizing, dude. I guess hypnotic is the word, hypnotizing is the verb. This is so sad. I just realized there's, there's also a callback to when Jacob wrestled the angel here. That's such a cool song. That is a cool song, dude. change was sick. This could be about a breakup, it could be about the death of a loved one, it could also be about Jacob wrestling the angel, that's awesome. And I think this is the last song. continuing 
the melody from that last track. There's a lot. There's a lot to this project. Wow. <clears throat> Gray by Moses Sumney. Um, wow. Where do I start? This album, to me, really encapsula encapsulates a lot of uh, the human experience, but The, the specific parts of the human experience is it, it really captures is, is loneliness pretty obviously. I mean, there's like four interludes in here about isolation. The very first track is called Insula, which, which is like the, the prefix of, uh, of, you know, isolation, uh, that, that feeling of being, you know, adrift or, or, or islanded, right? Like the, the uh, interlude talks about. And we see it various times, whether it's loneliness because of who you are and you're trying to fit in with other people, but you know, you know that you're different from them. Going back to uh, the, the internalized homophobia shit I was talking about earlier, that feeling of being isolated and that no one really understands who you are and you're trying to change yourself to fit in, but you can't and you feel alone. The loneliness that you feel when you break up with a loved one, the loneliness you feel when a, a childhood pet dies, the loneliness you feel when uh, a loved one passes away, um, you know, that, that isolation, just touching on it again and again and again and again and again over and over in this project. Uh, and also really it's about love as well, you know, talking about these lyrics here before you go, uh, you know, what does in love mean? What does, what does love really mean? And that also is one of the themes to the project, you know, the love that you feel, learning to love yourself, learning to love a partner, uh, how a child loves their childhood pets, love between the parent and their children, um, and also how ambiguous everything kind of seems. That's why it's called gray, really. Uh, there is the lyric, you know, uh, honesty is the best is, is the best moral, but morals are gray, right? Something like that. Just talking about how nothing is truly right or, or wrong, um, and, and trying to understand all of the multifaceted. Uh, things that happen in, in someone's life and how everything really is so difficult and confusing to understand and how everyone is complex and everyone's multifaceted and learning to accept other people the way that they are um, and also respecting your, um, your, your how, how did the, the uh, interlude put it? Your right to be multiple. I think that was how they put it. Uh, just truly about trying to understand what the hell is going on, you know, in your day to day life and how you how you cope with it, how you go through this entire mess of an existence, how that hope of something eventually getting better keeps you alive. How day to day life can just become a routine and just this drudgery and this gray, you know, overcast skies kind of depressing existence and trying to find light in the little things, um, whether it's your dogs, whether it's, you know, your loved one, 
Uh, just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot going on in this album. I, I think it's great. I think it's great. It's a long one. Uh, a lot of these tracks are slower. There are some really heavy, you know, distorted sort of tracks uh, in here, but a lot of them are slower songs, and the album is about an hour long. There's 20 of them. There's 20 of them. There are a couple interludes in their space there, but this one is one that you, you'll want to sink your teeth into. So if you're, you're not just going to put this on as a casual listen, I would definitely, you know, take time out of your day to kind of have the lyrics up as, as you listen to it, let the instrumentals kind of take you um you know let let the vocalizations just take you in fantastic you know vocal performances on this entire thing uh and and have fun trying to grasp all of the messages and symbolism and imagery and stories that that are ha happening in this album and uh find out what it means to you there's so much to to really dive into i think it's great i think it's fantastic uh, Pizza says, Gray truly is the perfect title because the color gray symbolizes neutrality and melancholy, which reflects in the second disc and the acceptance he conveys with the heavily depressing thoughts and moments he shares. But also, instead of picking one spelling of the word over the other, he just uses both. Yeah. Which relates to the first disc's messages about multiplicity and accepting the exploration of your freedom. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I hadn't even caught on to that. Yeah, that he uses the, um, that sort of like, ash... Um, a E one letter thing so that it's kind of you know gray with an A but also with an E that's really really cool that is fantastic yeah <clears throat> it's, and, and, and it's so well done and the lyrics are so you know nicely put together and so poetic that it truly becomes so relatable like there's something here for everybody because he talks about things that every person goes through at some point you know it um, really is fantastic. Just great. I had a great time listening to this. I'm saving it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for putting me onto this pizza. And I think I just got the five minute warning for my wife that dinner is about to be ready. So just in time. Thank you so much for this pizza. Thank you all so much as well for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this project as much as I did. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Don't forget to support the channel on Patreon or follow me on Twitch. Uh, if you want to catch these videos as they happen or, you know, the day that they get recorded uh, instead of waiting to watch them on the YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube and you're sticking to YouTube, I'd appreciate like, comment, subscribe, share it with someone you think might enjoy it. Uh, oh, thank you all so much for 800 Twitch followers as well. I posted that on the community page the other day. We did hit 800 during, I think, yesterday's stream. So thank you so, so, so much. I really appreciate you guys. Everyone have a great weekend. Those of you in the chat as well, I'll be ending the stream here too. So until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.